So I'm in Stockholm and I just wanted to point out because I'm from California, the snow here is was a lot different, is a lot different from what I saw in California. The snow here is fluffy. Um, in Toronto, it was kind of like ice. Um, and uh, it's very interesting to see how governments uh, and public services deal with it uh, because, you know, Toronto had no problem walking anywhere. Um, the streets were clear. That's not the case here in Stockholm. You'll see that, you know, there is ice, it's pretty difficult to walk. Um, but this is, you know, if you actually go on the snow, like I said, it's, it's completely fluffy. Um, look, like it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's you're not gonna get any sort of problems here, um, which I guess makes it a little bit easier for Stockholm uh, when it's not as cold as uh, it might otherwise be in other places. So um, this is about minus one or two C, I think. It's not that bad at all. Um, I'm trying to catch a snowflake, but even if I did, um, it'll just be some sort of slush. So anyway, I guess uh, snow is different depending on where you are and depending on what time of the month it is. But I, the, I guess the key factor is, you know, is it going to melt, you know, come into ice right away, uh, form into ice right away, or is it just going to be sort of soft and fluffy, which makes it a little bit easier on the uh, public system and on, of course, you know, the people who want to, you know, who over here still walk everywhere. Um, and of course, drive everywhere.